Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a landing page on Shopify and without using any other additional apps. This is all just how to do this within the base default version of Shopify utilizing the Dawn theme on Shopify's online store 2.0. This is how to create landing pages and landing pages are really great because you can set up kind of like a funnel for visitors to view your pages and create nice custom designs utilizing the sections that are coming with the default version of Shopify. Of course, as you can see here, this is just a quick and easy version. I'm going to be showing you how to create even more detailed landing pages than this basic template here, just with the little slideshow. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do all of this within just the basic version of Shopify, again, without using any other external paid apps. This is all completely just in the regular base version of Shopify. You don't need to install any other apps. And of course, this is so you can create these custom pages similar to how your home page would be, but on a separate URL page that you can direct your visitors to. Now, before we dive into the tutorial, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brendanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. That will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So you're going to want to make sure of course you are logged into your Shopify store the first step is to come over here to online store and then you're going to of course go to pages then once you go to pages we're gonna go ahead and add a dummy test page this is just going to be called uh, landing page because we're not actually using any of the content that is on this page this is just the page where we are uh, placing all of the landing page information. So the important factor here to consider is your actual URL. So if you want to, you know, see the URL, this is going to be your URL and handle for your landing page. So you can, you know, copy paste it here. Or if you want to edit the URL path, uh, that is where this is where you'll your landing page will uh, live on that URL. So that is the one thing that's important here. And if we go to click view on your online store, as you can see here, this is just like a basic dummy page that does not have any content or any information here, uh, which is great. That's what we want. We just need a place to put the landing page. So once we've created the landing page page or whatever you want to call your page, uh, all you have to do is make sure, of course, that is saved. And then next, we're going to go to online store. We will be coming back here to change the theme template. I'll be explaining that in just a second. But once we've created this dummy page here, then we go over to online store. Now it's important that you are using the most up-to-date Shopify themes. That is the one thing you will need is to be using the most up-to-date Shopify themes. Now the Dawn theme is the one I'm currently using, although this will work with any of the newer uh, themes on Shopify that are utilizing the online store 2.0 setup. There there's a lot of different options you have on Shopify. And of course, these are all free themes that come with Shopify as well. So you don't need to spend any money either on that. Next, you're going to come over here to click customize. Uh, and then that will bring up the theme editor. And next, we're going to go down here. We're going to select pages and then we're going to click create template. This is how we're going to be creating our landing page and we're going to create this instance so it only appears on this one page so we can really create our landing page. So we click create template and then that will uh, do this here. We're going to call this uh, landing page for the template name and then we're going to leave it just uh, based on the default page. We're going to go ahead and create that template. So now we're creating a brand new uh, template page called landing page. And this is currently not shown on any uh, pages. We're going to change the preview so that it uh, is currently using uh, landing page as that template. Now we will need to assign this template to the landing page uh, so that it actually does display on the store. So we're going to do that in just a second here. Um, we're going to also hide the actual content so that once we get to designing the landing page, there's no extra content here. So we can go ahead and click to hide that content. All you have to do is uh, click that little eye icon. And so we're almost there and then we can start designing the landing page. So we're going to click save here. And then we're going to go back into the editor to make sure that we assign the template to the proper page here. All if we do go, go back to the editor, then we go to pages. Then as you can see here, we have landing page. We click that 
and we select the theme template. You're going to want to make sure you do this so that it actually displays on this URL. The theme template is landing page. We select landing page. We click save. Now when you go to the landing page, uh, we go to refresh it. As you can see, it's not showing that information anymore because we hit it in the theme editor. Uh, so now we're going to go back to the theme editor to actually start building out and designing our landing page. We've got all the preliminary steps checked off. Now we're ready to actually start building out our landing pages on the Shopify store. So now we can go back to online store, go back to customize, and then this will bring us to this page here. Then we just click the drop down, we go to pages and we go to landing page. So now we can get to designing out the landing page. And this is where you really get to uh, explore your creativity and how you want to build your landing page. Of course, you could build a landing page to market a specific product. You could market maybe signing up for a newsletter or really anything that you want here. You can really add any type of sections that are in Shopify, any theme section you want to build out your landing page. This is great just because now you have that additional flexibility instead of just just having it the type of landing page build on your home page now you can do this on any kind of page on your Shopify store so we're gonna go ahead and just start creating this cool little landing page just as a template design that you know if you want to feel free and copy this you know I'm not necessarily the greatest graphic designer in the world but we're just utilizing the basic default theme sections from Shopify so we're gonna select slideshow we're gonna pop in a slideshow so that's typically what people like to have at the top of their landing pages Maybe if you want to add like a little button here, uh, then you can go in and edit that there. Under the slideshow section, you know, you can easily change out the images that you have, the layout if you want it to be uh, like a layout, a slideshow, show uh, content below the images. Uh, if you want it to automatically rotate the slides, you can do that as well. Uh, and, and then to edit a specific slide, you just then click on that specific slide. And this is how you can change the button link. So you could easily link out to maybe another page on your store or maybe a specific product, right? Maybe you want to link out to a specific product. Uh, in this case, we're going to design this all around like watches because I have a couple watches on the store. So I figured, ah, eh, let's link out to stuff like that. So the button label is... Um, uh, let's do buy, buy a Rolex today, something like that. And we're going to link out just to that specific perpetual one. Or actually, let's go ahead and link out to that collection. We're going to link out to the, the watch collection. So maybe we'll, we'll, we'll leave it as that. Buy a Rolex today and we'll link out to the watch collection. So we can do that. Use outline button style. So you can also change the button style there if you want. You can center it, change it. So really like the actual design and color scheme and layout, you can do it however you want. There's a lot of different ways you can go about doing this, of course. Um, I'm just going to be using some, some quick little basic designs. So as you can see, we have that there. And then the image we're going to select under free images. This is just in Shopify. We're going to look for watch. Um, and then as you can see here, you can change out the background. So that's kind of big and bulky. We'll probably want to uh, reduce the size there. Uh, so we'll go with that one. So that kind of looks like a more like a Rolex style, I guess. Or maybe we'll go with this one. Okay, and then once you have your image selected, next we're going to come down here and you can change out the heading size as well if you want to make things small or large. Uh, you can really edit this however you want. You can type out uh, a, a description here. Of course, like I said, I already added the link here. And then we have our little backdrop of watches. So because this is going to be kind of like a watch landing page. Next, we're going to go back and we're going to start adding other sections. As you can see, we just have one slide here. Um, we can get rid of the additional slide if we just want one there. We can just hide the second one. So that's one way if you just want to, if you don't need two, but you like the way that this looks with the little button text and the background image. So next we're going to add some more sections. Now there are a ton of different sections you could add to a given landing page as well. We're going to go ahead and add in like a multi-column section here. So in this multiple columns, you can add in additional text and information. So maybe this is a section where you talk about, you know, why, uh, why, uh, why get a watch from us, watch from us or something like that. 
and then you could talk about your pros and cons, why uh, someone should buy a watch from your store or your company. You can add in images here as well. Additionally, you can add in uh, links as well if you want to add like a little link. Uh, we're gonna link out to that here. If you wanted to, you can add like a little link, a link label, uh, link, something like that. As you can see here, you can add little link text. So if you wanted to link out maybe to specific informational pages like how to use the watches or something like that. So maybe maybe we link out to like an informational page. Uh, we could do that as well. So we have like a how to use coffee page on here. So how to use coffee, um, maybe how to, maybe a care guide, right? How to care for your watch, something like that. You can link out to that there. You can add in, in an image too. If you wanted like a little image, you can do that there. We're gonna go ahead and go with that one. And we can add in additional information in all these different sections uh, inside these columns. So we're gonna look for more watch images um, just to really uh, build out the whole timepiece thing. Uh, that image is not right, right sizing. So there we go, we got this one and we can add in another image here. These are just the free images from Shopify. So we have watch and let's go with, eh, let's go with one of these other ones down here. Maybe this one. Okay, cool. So you've got this little text section. You can even add a little button there as well. Uh, if you wanna add like a link out to another page, uh, I'm gonna go back. So we're just adding in sections piece by piece. Uh, you can also add in a little email signup form. So if you want like a specific dedicated big, like subscribe to our emails, you could add that there as well. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add another section. Uh, you can even add in a featured product. So maybe if we wanna feature a specific product on this landing page, you can also do that here with a featured product. So we're gonna select featured product the product we're gonna go with, we're gonna go with one of these Rolexes because, hey, this is a watch landing page. Maybe we wanna just uh, market that we've got a specific Rolex for sale or a specific watch. So as you can see, the landing page is starting to come together. We're gonna have to go ahead and actually move the email signup all the way to the bottom of the page. So to do that and move these sections around, all you have to do is select this little th uh, six dots here. You can click and then you can drag things around if you wanna move things to different parts of the page. As you can see, we have subscribed to emails at the bottom now. We have the product here. Uh, we have like a little explaining information section with links here. We're gonna go ahead and keep adding to this with more and more sections because there really is a ton of different sections you can add. Uh, within here, we've got, got rich text, we've got videos, so we can add a video. If we want maybe like a descriptive video talking about the product or something like that as well, maybe people want to learn even more information. So we'll put that underneath the featured product section. You can see we have a video uh, and you can even delete that heading there if you don't want it to say video. You can just delete that and then now it looks a lot cleaner. You don't even have the whole video section there showing. So we've got that going, got featured product, we've got a video. We're gonna go ahead and add another section. You've got collection lists as well. So you can list out a variety of different collections that you have maybe on your store. So we're, we're gonna go with homepage. And then we've got the jewelry section and we've got, oh, I guess we have to actually click select. Okay, so we've got to select it. All right, select that. We've got watches, of course. And then we've got the homepage collection. So if you wanna link out to other collections, you can do that here too linking out to specific collection pages uh, when people are on this landing page. So there's really a ton of different ways you can utilize this. Uh, we can also add a collage. So let's take a look at the collage. So if you wanna add multimedia, maybe a product, a collection, and a video, uh, you can do that here too. We're gonna go ahead and, and actually delete the collage section. Uh, but you can add that there as well. Taking a look at other sections. Uh, we also have collapsible content. So you can easily add in like a little FAQ section. So that's pretty good for this type of page. Uh, so we can title that under the collapsible content. We have our little caption, we have the heading. So we can change this to an FAQ section about 
maybe the watches, right? About the watches on the store. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this other collection section because it doesn't really make a ton of sense for this page. We're going to move the FAQ section above the subscribe to the emails because we want that at the bottom. But yeah, you can also add a little FAQ section with a collapsible rows. Uh, you can easily add question and answers in here for people uh, to view on your page. We're going to go ahead and click save and just take a look at the live landing page and see how it's kind of come together. Right. So as you can see here, we have the image slide at the top. Now, of course, you can select smaller images. Maybe if this image is a little bit too big for you, you can also change that. Maybe select a smaller image for the top uh, slide. So you have the buy Rolex today selection. You have why get a watch from us. You have the little uh, three column section here. You have a button if you want. Uh, to have people direct people to where they need to go. You have the actual product listing here that people could buy right from this page. Uh, then you have a little uh, video and in the little FAQ section. So you could have little drop downs uh, for maybe question answers about your product and people could even sign up for the email newsletter at the bottom. So that's the start of a good landing page, right? There's a ton of other things. We're going to go ahead and play around a little bit more. Uh, but really, that's the gist of it. Once you have your landing page uh, set and you have it the uh, template set to that landing page, then this specific URL will be your landing page. And you can link this anywhere on your store if you want to link out to this page. Maybe you're doing some paid marketing or maybe you're sending out email newsletters. Anywhere you send this URL, you can direct people to this specific landing page and really build things out however you want uh, with the sections that are built into the default Shopify OS 2.0. Again, this is the Dawn theme that I'm currently using. This works for any of the newer online store 2.0 Shopify themes. You could also add in like a little section for blog posts. Maybe if you've got uh, a bunch of blog posts that you want to link to, you can also uh, add that there as well if you have specific blog posts that you want to show. I currently don't have any blog posts on this site, but if you want to link out to other informational content, you can do that as well uh, on your landing page. So really you could do anything that you see in the section sec, anything in, that you see in the sections sections uh, you can link out to and put together your landing page. You can even feature uh, specific reviews too, uh, featured review carousel if you want um, with certain reviews um, from your content as well. We're going to go ahead and delete that section there. Um, but yeah, guys, there is a ton of different sections here that you can continue to add and play around with. So I hope you guys found this helpful as far as like image with text. You can also add that there too. Uh, we can drag that up and around. So really you can feel free to play around with this however you want and build out your landing pages uh, to your heart's desire and however you want to build them and design them. Um, there's a ton of different landing page examples out there uh, that exist. Of course, you know, tr you can try and mimic or copy uh, other landing page examples out there uh, as well. It's a good, good idea, good, um, good best practice just to kind of use something that's already working. Again, you already have like all these little templated designs that Shopify has in here. And all you have to do is then plug and play with your information that you want on your landing page. So guys, again, I hope you found this video helpful. If you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brenvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. Guys, if you found this landing page video helpful, this tutorial helpful and enjoyable and useful for creating landing pages in Shopify without needing to download any other apps. Be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.